Hi, welcome back to my tutorial. For better understand this tutorial, please go through my previous tutorial, MBC Part 2 and MBC Part 3. This is MBC Part 4. In this, only the admin user can load this page, populate the uh, user data, and he can edit that data you can uh, reshape the password or whatever uh, the gender and role of the um, that user so only the admin can do this we will achieve this or uh, we can delete it so uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to populate this data how to get this data from the database and display with the authorized uh, role with the authorize if there is a, if the user is admin then display otherwise do not so we will discuss how to do edit how to delete this so by the help of uh, java query and ajax jquery and ajax we will uh, do these things edit user as well as delete user and display so for this you must have some little knowledge of jquery and ajax as well as CSR. So let's start our project to do this to achieve the same thing in our videos in our uh, web page. So let's first for this we need to load our software. We we'll need to load our code. So inside of this to achieve this we need have some properties. So go to the model and add some properties to our model for this basically if you you can see here if you are you are displaying data from the user you are displaying data from the user user detail user user detail role role detail you have over here role so role role detail and you have user and user detail so <coughs> some tables are involved inside of the displaying this page so let's move to the code section so we need to have some define some properties over here we need to define some properties over here so let's first define a properties for properties for user user role as well as role detail and these things so first i will just for a speed thing up i had already wrote this code and i will copy it in our system so just copy this So let's go to the our page and paste over here one by one we will discuss what all those things is being responsible for now we are in a user detail view we are creating some properties user id role id role name as well as name password and the first name last name user's first name last name gender you know the gender has different male and female and we had stored only the genders initial that m and f so we need to have one uh, properties for gender also and this role id and role name this one is from the different table this one is from the different table this one is from the different table and this last name first name is from the different table so now first we are going to create user role detail view in this we are just creating role id role name and description and the gender column we are just creating text and value text will be male and value will be m text will be female and value will be f next one is user role so in this i am creating i in enumerable user role detail view user role detail view object of this section 
object of this section to user role with the selected role id so the whatever the role id has been selected and what the role detail has been given to them will be populated over here you can just you can just understand one thing this selected role id is suppose suppose uh, it's a two so it will uh, holding two and the two name is suppose say admin and the description is admin also the two and admin as well as admin the detail of this properties and this this user role will have all the details inside of user gender that will select it selected gender whether it is m or f so m and the detail this detail m if it is male then male and m female and f if the selected user user data view in this we are created i enumerable data object of user detail view that one previous one this user detail view this one okay now we are creating object of this with the user role and user gender which one this one so this one and this one that's little uh, complicated properties so better understand in detail so this user data view is holding what the detail of user detail view and the detail of user gender which is holding the detail of gender and the detail of user roles which is holding the detail of user role detail so in this property we are going to hold our all the fields our all the fields and value inside of user data view now we had already created this user property now move to the method section for creating a function so which will be responsible for edit or search data and delete data and etc so double click on there for a speed thing up i had already written this code so in this just copy copy this do not worry we will discuss all those function in detail so what the function is doing what is the responsibility of function we discuss all those things so just paste it now one by one we are going to dis discuss this function so first function is list of list of user role detail view class get all rows in this we are the return type is what the list of user role detail the list of user role detail views so in this class we are creating a data uh, object of database that's a store db context and we are storing the user role dot select and using lambda expression m such that new user role detail we are assigning a value to m we are assigning we are assigning this user role detail to the list uh, basically role id is equal to m dot role id whatever the this dba has uh, inside so an m dot role name in role name and whatever the db holding for the description we are storing inside of description also and we are making this to list we are storing this variable type is what list of this user role and we are returning this roles to the calling function so this is responsible for that and now get user id with the string username has been passed so we are going to return what we are checking inside of database user login where lambda expression m such that m dot username equals to provided username or not if it is 
then single or default and id that id we are going to return to the call function the fun uh, where from where this function has been called the integer type id is integer type so we are returning the id of user to the call function now the next one we had created list of user detail return type user detail view function get all user profile in this we are getting in in this previous one we are getting we are retrieving all the uh, roles and in this we are retrieving what all the profiles of user so in this user list of user detail view we are creating object and assigning this same same way whatever we had done in this in this section the same way we are going to do this section also using a store db connection and we are creating one object of user detail view what what is user detail view is basically this this properties we are creating this object okay we had created this object inside of this user detail view and db dot user logins to list so we are uh, creating a use list of the user and store into a users for each now db dot logins and for each we are storing where in user login okay so db dot login whatever the db dot login containing we are going to store in user detail view one this one okay so user login whatever the user login is holding we are going to store in this one the same things we are going to do for the user detail okay the same thing we are going to do user detail and the user roles same after uh, repeating these all tasks we are adding that list that uh, object user detail view one object to the list this user view detail this object to the this list okay so and this list is returned to the called function so basically what we are doing we are storing the information of user user detail roles and make it in list and rest rest in this uh, return in that way so now the next function we are going to create user data view the next one is user data view function and this is the return type of user data view the object one and we are getting what login name as a parameter so user data view we are uh, creating user data view object of user data view and the list of this user data view and user role data view i am going to assign user assigned role id equal to 0 user id equal to 0 okay and uh, user gender equal to a string and dot empty so now the next thing using uh, i am just creating object of um, this store db class store db context and 